guys. Welcome to another spotlight video and today we're looking at Shadow. Nope, not the not the three star version. Five star version. He is mighty strong. So you're looking at him because he can dark chain with this guy. And this guy right here is one of my one of my all time favorites already in Brave Exvius because of how that's how interesting he is. Like his kit. It's really good. <laughs> He has dual elements and like just all this all the interesting things of an attacker. But you can UOC him. You can use the UOC any of these characters, guys. Not this one, but this one's guys this guy's just here to watch. So let's get into it. Now at this point this boss should not give anybody trouble, but I still like making these videos for you guys. Until someone comes out and says, I don't want to see these videos anymore, and I guess I'll have to listen to them. I'm kidding, of course. Alright, let's see what we can do. Uh, Arden needs to just equip a dark weapon, I think. Because his imbue is getting in the way. Wait, no, it's actually Shadow that I think that's... No, his... His dark his dark move has dark elements already on it. So actually, I think we're gonna have to skip the imbue process for Arden. And just... Uh, just equip a dark element onto him. Because... Uh, the dark imbuing is getting in the way of our damage, so we're gonna have to... Change it out. And look for a dark weapon here. Good look at thing I have a bunch of these. People on my Discord know of my frustration with Dark Knight Luneth. I have way too many of them, so let's keep going. Let's see uh, our damage this time. My damage should be definitely a lot higher uh, without having to imbue and the back should be dealing damage. Actually, we should probably be doing, uh, this, this is his boss buff move. It raises his modifiers slightly, so we want to be using the 64 and then dealer 64. Can you guys see that damage? Pretty insane, isn't it? What do you guys think of that damage? It's pretty crazy, isn't it? picking friend units so I can reset my friends list for something later. But now we're gonna up the ante for the damage and we're going to buff ourselves. And also we're gonna break, but I don't know. Can he can be defense broken. So there we go. Quite a bit of damage, huh? Or we'll be able to see the full extent of their combination attack when we get to the final one. Just so you guys know, uh, this is the final, final boss you fight before it rotates all the way over again to the next for the first one. And I don't know if I'm gonna continue making these. It is, it is content for my YouTube channel, but it doesn't gain a lot of traction. I'd like to get more feedback on this. Uh, 
stuff, maybe bring more units that people want to see. But most of the time I kind of just use whatever I want because nobody, nobody really requests anything that they want to see, so... Usually just bring whatever I want. In this case I brought these guys because they can deal dark damage. I'm cheating with Arden, but I'm trying to make it... Uh, make them chainable. For the last one, uh, well, maybe we can find, yeah, here. Although, why is his attack a lot lower? Ooh, he's, uh, changing out his unit, I guess. We're in the middle of, uh, his changing process here. Uh, the Ard our friend Arden's not going to do as much damage, because he has to waste a turn to him. Not waste a turn, but like, waste a chaining process to imbue. A little slippery on that, but it's okay. That's a lot of damage, though. That's quite a bit of damage, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed another installment of the Arden Show, featuring Arden Shadow. And if you guys want this to continue, please let me know in the comments if you've even watched this far, or if any other units you want to try and see more often, let me know. I've got quite a mass array of units to choose from, so. If you ask, you may receive. Till next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.